Hi, I'm Robin and welcome to Red Sea Tips and Tricks. Today we'll talk about Red Sea Salt and Coral Pro Salt, answering questions that we're often asked about as well as clearing up a few misconceptions. So if you want a perfect salt mix every time, stay tuned. Water changes. How much and how often? In order to avoid unnecessary fluctuations in water chemistry, we recommend a 10% water change once a week. If you prefer to change the water less frequently, we recommend you do not exceed 30% at a time. Is RO water a must? In one word, yes. In 10 words, never trust tap water. You never know what it contains. What is the right temperature for mixing with RO water? The RO water you use to mix Red Sea Salt or Coral Pro Salt should be no more than 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you get a clear mix, use a water heater to bring it up to your tank's temperature and avoid unwanted heat fluctuations. Mixing the salt. Who goes first? The salt or the water? Always add the salt to the water, never the other way around, and be careful not to overshoot the salinity. How long to mix the mix? Use a submerged pump and mix only for as long as it takes for the salt to completely dissolve. Do not mix for more than two hours and do not bubble air into the water as both of these actions will cause unnecessary precipitation. Salinity. How should I check it? We recommend using a salinity tester that is specifically designed for seawater, such as Red Sea Saltwater Refractometer. Always confirm the calibration of a refractometer before using it. We also recommend you prepare a container with a volume mark and a measuring cup for the salt to ensure repeatable results with every mix. Salinity check. When should I check it? As a rule of thumb, check the new mixed salinity before adding it to your tank. If necessary, add a bit more salt or water to adjust the mix to the desired level. To stay on the safe side, also check the salinity level in your tank before adding the new batch, just to make sure everything's in order. Storing the mix. If you wish to make your Red Sea salt mix ahead of time, store it in a sealed container to avoid natural evaporation and place it somewhere dark with a surrounding temperature of up to 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Under these conditions, the mixed water should be good for about seven days. We do not recommend storing Coral Pro salt for more than 12 hours as it will precipitate and reduce the elevated levels of calcium and alkalinity. So it's highly recommended to make it just before use. Storing the salt. In order to prevent clumping due to humidity, always make sure that any unused salt is kept in a closed container such as the Red Sea buckets. What to avoid? Try to avoid overheating the water, overmixing, or adding too much salt, as any of these will cause a cloudiness in the water. Don't worry about this white stuff, it's perfectly natural. It's nothing but calcium carbonate precipitation. You can remove it for aesthetic reasons, but it won't bother your fish, it won't bother your corals, and it will not affect the water parameters in any way. That's all for today. Comment below if you have any questions or suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our next episode. Thank you for watching!